Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm just going to bring you a message real quick just to see what's good with you guys. Give you a little daily guidance. You know how that goes. Don't forget, y'all, flip these rolls. Take only what you need and leave the rest. All right. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Okay. I pick up on past, present, future energy. So at any time, this could be your message or it may not be happening for you right now. But I wouldn't totally neglect the message because, again, I pick up on past, present, and future energies okay don't force nothing to fit all right go over to my youtube for all my tiktok viewers and um subscribe i do extended readings over there so this video will continue over on my youtube the link is in my bio thank you youtube fan for all of your support make sure you hit the like buttons subscribe button the thanks button if you're feeling generous I definitely appreciate y'all. Okay, so let's see what's going on. YouTube fam, one of my selfie lights have, have broken. So, it may seem a little dark. <laughs> but it's because I got to get another light. So, hopefully in due time, I'll be able to, to do that. Alright, y'all. But in the meantime, this is what I got. Okay. Now, it says a new romantic cycle is beginning for YouTube. Look, I said YouTube. <laughs> okay, so it's beginning for you all. And let me pull tarot on that so we can see what that's talking about. All right, you um, TikTok. It's gonna. I'm gonna go probably till about ten minutes. If I happen to pass my time and I forget to say, hey, peace. <laughs> Just know where you can go to catch the rest of this video. All right, YouTube, YouTube. Tell me about this new romantic cycle. <clears> hmm. <throat> Nine of Cups come out, y'all. Then it got the Four of Swords that's right next to it. So you've been worried. Okay, you've been worried. Will you get your wish fulfillment? God damn it, yes you are. <laughs> okay, your wish is getting ready to come true with this Nine of Cups energy. So stop worrying. You're going through a recovery period right now. And that's just basically what's happening. I feel like it's like... I feel like it's like, how can I put it? Like the Divine is putting us all on a reset. Okay, putting us on pause for a moment. Let's reprogram these folk <laughs> so that they can get in alignment with their true divine path. All right. So that's what's happening for us all. Okay. You may feel like your person is not opening up. They're not coming forward. Page of Cups in the reverse. But you guys are in a recovery period. Okay. This is a period of healing so that you can begin this new cycle that's coming in for you. All right. It's um, the card. The card actually says like new moon and Libra. So what I see here again, is like a spiritual reset. Um, Saturn retrograde is definitely coming through and bringing balance. Okay, so anywhere there's an imbalance or things is just not right, yep, the planets are working in your favor. It may not feel like it because it can get kind of chaotic and you got to release some stuff that, yeah, nine of cups, you got to release some stuff first in order for you to get to this point. It can get quite disappointing because the stuff that you're realizing you got to let go of is a part of your wish fulfillment. But don't worry. It's coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. This is basically the law of cause and effect. This is karma at play right now. Okay. So that you can begin to get in alignment with what you truly desire. All right. Yeah. Because here what I'm seeing here is that choices have to be made. Choices have to be made. And your person here may be not making the choices. Um, I feel like both of y'all kind of were stuck in this crossroads of making a decision. And the major decision that had to be made was choosing your happiness, right? We got a Knight of Pentacles here, side of, um, Seven of Cups reverse, and a Six of Swords reverse. Okay? I feel like this masculine energy was choosing to stay stuck to the past, not moving forward, fearing change, things like that. So because of that energy here, and what I'm hearing is for some of you, you are connected to... Um, a higher level soulmate, divine, t the um, twin flame type energy. Okay, and because there was no movement, no changes, of course, you had to go through this moment where things got again funky. You may be still going through it, so I encourage you to stay faithful um, to your goals, your plans. Stay determined, stay confident through this process because that's just literally what it is, y'all. It's a process that you have to endure for a second but it's a blessing in disguise that's going to come out of this okay um you're not going to be able to know everything it's just just how god works how the universe works okay so if you know everything then it ruins the surprises okay it ruins the miracle itself all right so allow god to work 
um, move into a state of trusting and knowing that what you have set your intentions for, you will get. It will manifest. Just stay in alignment, okay? That's key. Stay in alignment. And I feel like here that, you know, for some of you, you're going to get a new cycle that's going to start with this person. Or a new person may come in. I feel like a, a few options are coming towards you. Okay, so you do have some options to choose. Just like this person had options to choose is what I just heard. You're getting the same options. Judgment card. Okay, but however, you guys are going through this period of awakening and I feel like this masculine is, is too. Alright, so whoever's playing this role in the story. Awakening. Doing the self-reflecting and actually ascending on top of that. Okay, ain't staying stuck. It may not be happening on, you know, if you're the feminine of my collective, it may not be happening the way you think it should happen or how. But, again, it's happening. You can't control anyone else's destiny but your own. You can't control anybody else's transformation but your own. Okay? And remember, when we begin praying for people and for situations to shift to work in our favor, what ends up happening? God ends up working on you first. And then what? Then the people that you're connected to. So keep that in mind. Okay? So you went, you, you were going through your transformation and still transforming in so many ways. How long has it taken you to get to where you are now? Alright? So think about that. That may that may help you to have some type of empathy if it's if it's a past person that you're waiting to come in if it's your twin flame that you're waiting to to shift okay um, but don't worry it's happening it's it's one of these things that's inevitable if this person is supposed to be in your life they will move with the flow as well okay um, but however keep your focus here on what you are called to do and that's to serve. Okay, so the universe gives to us, but we have to give back in return. All right, so remember that we got to give back in return, whether it's resources, whether it's time, whether it's um, money, whatever it may be, your gifts and your talents, utilizing it to help humanity. But stay positive and look at the brighter side because the sun is coming out. 707, I just seen on my timer. Okay, that it means completion and it's divinely ordered. Okay, so let me see if I can get some daily guidance and then I'll let you guys go. I probably am not going to extend this reading, you guys, but however, we'll see. We don't know what's getting ready to come out. Yep, daydream came out. This came out earlier when I tried to read. But take some time to daydream. All right, this is what's going to put you at the seat of your creativity. And you know when you daydream here, it opens your mind to receive without directing your thoughts. You know it's like you're watching a movie. It's like it's like when you daydream, you be daydreaming about the things that you want, right? And how you want them to be and play out. So yeah, do it. That's a good thing. I feel like um, the person you're connected to, well, this could be you, but I feel like whoever's a masculine daydreams a lot. Yep, look at this. The law of attraction comes out. So what was I talking about? We have to be in alignment. In order to manifest what we desire, it requires alignment. So each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. Remember that. So invest wisely. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are you speaking? All of this matters. Okay? So if you're out of alignment with that, you're out of alignment with your desires. And then guess what? Your prayers are delayed. Okay? So you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. And at your request, your angels will attune their energies to a higher frequency so that you can match the frequency of the universe. Y'all see how this works. We Look, readers across the board have been dropping jewels on how to manifest. That's what I'm here to do, to help you to be able to manifest your life and your desires and your dreams, as well as getting it, getting into alignment with your life purpose. It goes hand in hand, okay? Um, ground yourself, okay? So if you haven't had a chance to get outside, go outside today. Get grounded because when you are detached from your awareness of your body in the physical world, it makes you ungrounded. And because uh, we are light workers, okay, normally... Hey, you tuned into these videos, you are called some kind of way spiritually. We can get very ungrounded. Why? Because we're pulling in so much energy. Energy from our collective, from the people we help, and our own stuff. Okay, so make sure you move your body, connect back with Mother Nature, listen to guided meditation. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, yoga, acupuncture, Reiki. But however, get yourself grounded. All right, everything that's happening to you. It's happening for a reason, basically. It's a blessing in disguise. It may feel like it's a problem now, but guess what? Don't be surprised what's coming to you next. And it's going to be major. I feel it. I've been feeling something major is getting ready to pop off. And this is good. Good energy. So there's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And the situation is under perfect control.
control of divine providence. Peace.